Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my Caliente Kitchen and my friends, all my veggie and fruit lovers. Welcome back again. Can you believe summer is almost over? Fall is coming up and that means kids are going back to school. Most of us are going back to the office. We are going to be busy, busy, busy. So that means our cooking time is going to be limited. So today I'd like to talk to you about your pantry and how to start with the most basic foods to make a quick meal if you are like in that moment where you're like, what should I make today? So I'm making a salad with chickpeas, pasta, vegetables that is quite delicious. And most of these ingredients actually come from your pantry. Now, I have actually in this salad six, six different vegetables. And these vegetables, most of them come from the pantry. So let's go with that. First, canned tomatoes. I'm telling you, always I have canned tomatoes at my pantry. Then we have pasta. No, that's not a vegetable. I'm sorry. Canned corn, canned olives. I like olives. I like Mediterranean style kind of salads. So canned olives always have canned beans. All kinds of beans are great, not only for salads, but also for stews, soups, and stir fries as well. I love to add them there too. And then of course, uh, I think I cover my canned foods. And let's not forget about the, the freezer. I also have here frozen peas. Now the fresh ingredients in this um, fresh uh, vegetable ingredients in this uh, salad are the carrots and of course the protein which I'm using queso fresco high quality protein. So, oh, I forgot the red onions, of course. They're, high, they're hidden here. Red onions is another fresh vegetable. I love onions in salads, so that's why I'm using it. Now, pastas, rice, beans, dry foods, always good to have in your pantry too. And that's why I'm using my high quality, high protein pasta. I, when I buy pasta, I like to buy pasta that is high in fiber, at least five grams of fiber and at least 10 grams of protein per serving. All right, are you ready? Let's get cooking, my friends. So for this, it's easy. We're just gonna mix the ingredients. We're gonna start adding the pasta and then uh, the, whoop, so loud. Chickpeas and olives. Then we have red onions corn, look at these beautiful colors. Then we have carrots. I'm actually gonna stir this a little bit before we start adding other ingredients so it's easier to stir. And this can actually feed an entire family. Uh, then we add peas, canned tomatoes, and then we're gonna end with the uh, queso fresco. By the way, if you cannot find queso fresco, which is, uh, we use it a lot in Latin cuisine, you can always use feta cheese. It has about the same taste. Queso fresco is a little lighter on the taste. So now the other pantry items are, of course, olive oil. You can add some olive oil for seasoning. And then we're gonna actually add some balsamic vinegar as well. Very nice. And there you go. And now more seasonings. We have black pepper, pantry stuff, salt, sea salt. And of course, I am using oregano, <coughs> but you can use also Italian seasoning or dry basil or whatever herb you like in your salad. And now we're gonna stir this well so that you have all the ingredients evenly distributed. Now this salad is a complete salad because it has vegetables for sure, half a plant. 
it has protein from the pasta, chickpeas, and of course the queso fresco, lots of fiber, tons of antioxidants, very nice. Now let's see how this tastes, because I always love to taste my food. Uh, just a little bit here. And mm. definitely a winner. If you want to know more about this recipe or other recipes of mine, articles in nutrition, visit my website manuelvillacorta.com forward slash blog. I added a link right on the copy so you can see it. And I hope you have enjoyed today's Caliente Kitchen. And my advice, remember keep those canned tomatoes, canned beans, canned corn, frozen corn, frozen peas too. Just keep those foods there because you can do so many things with your pantry. And last tip, before you go shopping, check your pantry, check your freezer, your fridge, so you don't overstock and actually also know that this salad is cost effective. All right, my friends, thank you again and until next time.